Hi. So yesterday I was talking with someone and he mentioned you can't talk about sedition. That's one of the three things you can't talk about in, with free speech. So I kind of want to go over that a little bit and um, kind of see how it kind of disagrees with the Declaration of Independence. Let's take a look. So the Declaration of Independence, it's the second paragraph. You can you can read it by yourself. Um, I'm going to have all the links to the description box below. In Congress, July 4th, 1776, skipping to the second paragraph, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence, indeed, will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light or transient causes, and accordingly, all experience hath shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer while, e while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations pursuing invariably the same object evinces a design to reduce them under absolute despotism. It is their right, it is their duty to throw off such government and to provide new, car new guards for their future security. Such has been the patient sufferances of these colonies, etc., etc., etc. So, that's, that's our founding document, the Declaration of Independence. Now, it's funny because if all right, let me let me skip. Let me skip. All right. So the Sedition Act of 1918, it was an act of Congress uh, that passed, and it was signed into law by Woodrow Wilson. It forbade the use of disloyal, profane, scurrilous, or abusive language about the United States government, its flag, its armed forces, or that caused others to view the American government or its institutions with contempt. Uh, I mean, it's it basically covers a broad range of offenses. It's it extended Espionage Act of 1917. So speech and expression of opinion that cast the government or a war effort in any negative light interfered or interfered with the sale of government bonds, etc. So it still exists today. So if you did anything like we did with the Declaration of Independence, that's why it's funny. So if we actually tried to uphold our Declaration of Independence to to do what the second paragraph mentioned, we would be held uh, accountable by being seditious to the government of the United States. And it comes to the point of which one are you going to do? Are you going to follow the Sedition Act of 1918? Or are you going to follow the Declaration of Independence? Now, that's the big question. Um, it's a good discussion because, I mean, they, it did mention that it's not based off, you know, we shouldn't be uh, like the example. Prudence, indeed, will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light and transient causes. But is our situation today a light and transient cause? it's a, it's a deeper thing because our how it's a it's very difficult <laughs> i'm not gonna lie it, it i think it's bad i don't think gov uh, government congress supreme court uh they don't really represent the whole of the people so it's not a light and transient cause to reform our government forces but in doing so and even stating doing so 
could put you in prison <laughs> uh, for five to 20 years. So um, it's a tough call. And I think that's what puts us in a load of trouble because when you're going to follow what the origins of the US, US country is founded upon, you're, you're doing the country a service because it needs to be done. They mentioned it. It's a problem. They thought ahead. So when you see laws like this, is it really a law we should follow? Something that directly contradicts what the founding fathers, what the founding of our country actually stated. All right, that's it.